<laughs> Welcome to Angel in the Wiz. Yes, yes, yes. episode we left you hanging on a Sorry. tease that um, now here's this picture what is this picture of this is a picture of myself with Jake and Elwood Blues from Universal Studios in the Blues Brothers show that they have there okay. out in Florida right. and uh, you have a particular fondness of my hair I love your and hair that now and that it's a great picture and I thought <laughs> wow where's that hair why how come you know I mean I mean, we have a common argument about my hair, Wiz and I, um, because I, the truth is, I live in Florida, and if you've ever visited Florida after March, between March 21st and the end of November, there's two things to describe our weather, hot and humid. Okay. And I have very naturally wavy hair, and probably the last show, and what you can, might be able to see right now, it's kind of natu it's naturally wavy. And, um, is that a good thing? It is, well, it is a good thing, except when you're in hot and humid weather because the humidity makes it get all fuzzy so I have to douse my hair with tons of um, product stuff yes so in the picture that you see um, my hair is a little bit straighter and got these big rolls in it right. and it's is that longer a product thing? that is a product of hair blow drying my hair and hot rolling it and, um, so my, I mean, you really have to work. I really have to work on it, yeah. So in the summertime, if you see me in the summertime, on a day that we're not taping, my hair is usually just pulled back in a ponytail mm -hmm. or in a bun or something because it's hot and it's humid. And ladies, if you've ever been in Florida between March 21st and the end of November, you know what I'm talking about because you can't do nothing with it. You just, it's too hot and too humid. Yeah, but when I saw, when I saw you, uh, well, the, when we first met that, I mean, not when we first met, but when I mean, we first when started night, taping. Well, when we, when I, when James, when I, that night, when I met you at James, you had your head down. Because it wasn't hot and humid. Out. You, it was okay. like February. When you go out on Thursday nights, you I do. you play hooky on Thursday I, nights. Sh okay. Shh, shh, shh. Do you always do your hair? Do you see your hair always down on those Thursday nights? No, my hair is whatever it is I wore to work that day. <laughs> okay, good for you. Okay, and so now, here you had all this beautiful, beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. I, he sends me an email, what happened yeah. to your hair? <laughs> Where did it Why go? can't you wear it like <laughs> that? Back. And I said, because there's two things that Florida has, mm -hmm. heat and humidity. Right. And the, it's still hot in the winter months, or warmer, but the right. humidity's not so bad. So I can, if I straighten it in, in the summertime, right. it starts to get fuzzy, like... Right. Like you could, it's it's bad. Now straighten it. You mean that that you that's what you meant by product? You put a product on I, it that I, straightens no, it. No, I have a flat iron. Oh, well. It's like you take an iron and iron oh, your hair. Is that good for your hair? Probably not. Yeah, I would think. Okay. Princess, you know, I mean. This is dead anyway. It's all dead. Well, I mean, you you you, you saw her last week. She looked fine. Then she last week. You looked fine last week. Mm. You're welcome, princess. Okay, now. So, so, so then Wiz wants to know what happened to your hair. Back to our yeah, he goes, story. What happened to your hair? How I said, How do we get that back? And you said, Patience and something else. Oh, humidity. Yeah, patience, patience and humidity. Yeah, patience <laughs> and no humidity. You're right. Um, but a couple, last year, was it last year? My hair was really long. So I think it was last year or two years ago, I um, cut my hair really short and donated it to this organization called Locks of Love. Okay, Locks, L-O-C-K-S? Mm -hmm. L-O-C-K-S of, of Love. love. Okay, yes. now tell us about that. Locks of Love is an organization that takes real human hair and creates wigs for um, children with cancer. So they have lost their hair and they, so now these girls can have, or, or in boys can have this real human hair as a wig, so. So now how did you find out about this? Um, I it was uh, I've known about the organization for a while. It's every once in a while when they do these makeovers, on like the the talk shows, you right. um, see there's always somebody who's got long hair that they've been growing out for years and years and years and years right, and right, years, right, right. and then they do this dramatic cut and they cut the hair off and yeah right, and then they say well you know and the woman's in tears, but then then at the revealing show they're like oh but by the way. This is we we sent your hair to Locks of Love and here's the wig that we created for the girl and oh. whatever. So, but that's um, a very sweet thing. Yeah, 
Um, but there's a catch, though, because you, your hair has to be a minimum of 10 inches long. The, yeah. the, the piece that you send in? Yeah. So what they do is they take your hair and they put it in a ponytail. Right. And then they, kind of like how my hair is, is now, and then they pull it back about here and they measure 10 inches and then they cut. Wow. Yeah. Now, now, now did, you don't do the cutting? Do you actually go to the place? Can go to, you can go to most, most salons, if you ask them, they will um, cut your hair. You know, they, because they, then they, they do the proper measurement. They put the, put the ponytail in and then they cut. And right. then, um, your responsibility is to, you have to dry the hair out, you know, just kind of let it hang out for a day or two, and then you have to, you have to send it off to the organization. Now, this is a really sweet, good thing. It is mm -hmm. every, <clears throat> oh boy, oh, could I get, I'm, that's the kind of country this is. Mm -hmm. We do not need anybody telling us what to do. We are good and decent people. I'm very tired. Most of, of America are good and Yes, and and I'm tired of being told that white people are bad people because they have built the greatest country on earth and they, and they have been more generous to more people. We are the only country in the world that fights wars and leaves. Everybody else fought wars, took the land. But be that as it may, the point that I want to try and make is how do people find Locks of Love if they want to do it? This is a really oh, beautiful you, thing. Um, there's a website. You go to locksoflove.org, okay. I think. Okay. Um, and they can, or, or just go to google.com and search Locks of Love. Okay. And the website will pop up. And that tells you the directions. Any, any hair salon can cut the hair. Mm -hmm. um, or you can even do it yourself, but the cut is minimum 10 inches. When I told my mom that I did that, my mom um, decided that she wanted to do the same thing and she's growing it out. But, uh, you know, it's a challenge. For girls, it's a challenge because okay. after a certain point, you, it becomes harder. The longer your hair is, the harder it is to style. Because, so after a certain point, for me it was, I would, had to wait like four weeks. I went into a salon and I said, I want to donate my hair. And they said, well, you're about an inch short. Right. Wait four more weeks. And that was like the worst four weeks ever. Why? Because you have, you ha you, cause my hair was just, it was too long. And it just, you know, the, it didn't have any bounce in it. And it was hard to style. Women understand. You got, guys have a hard, I wish you guys should wear a wig, long hair wig, and then be forced to style it some for just for a week. There was a time in my life, Princess. That you had long hair. My hair was not much shorter than yours is now. <laughs> I used to have hair that, you know, I mean, I've lived a full and excited. Look at that dumb picture up there. That's you? That's me as a child. Oh. See? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I have it. If I have it, I'll put it on the screen if I don't think too bad. Because, but, you know, I mean, don't see? Don't put it on the screen. Though. Okay. It's, you know, because so that's why, you know, anyway, so. But, so by, but. I really thought that was a very, very nice thing that you did. I thought it was very altruistic, and, you know, and it wasn't for any benefit. It wasn't like selling your blood no. so you could go out and buy a pint. And most of the time, the the it's very uncommon for you to find out who gets your hair. Oh yeah, I think yeah, you it's find all out. It, you know. It's only on those TV shows because the the organization has an opportunity for free ad advertising. Let people so, know about it. Yeah. You know something too. I said, and this is this is kind of. S sideways from this. Okay. I was watching a show the other night and they were talking about the fact that a little girl had had plastic surgery for her ears mm -hmm. and the commentator, the host of the show, it was Bill O'Reilly, okay? And I didn't watch the whole segment, but he was kind of taking, I, the, the tone that I got, I didn't watch the whole segment, was that he thought the help, that this was bad. Now, I don't want to put words in his mouth because I, I didn't like, I didn't watch the segment. I don't know, mm -hmm. it was just a tone. But I got to tell you something. That, to me, is absolute. This is not breast augmentation. We are not. This is not, uh, you know, trying to make ones. This is something that's going to maybe affect this little girl's life. And how do I know? Because when I was adopted, I was adopted at 13 weeks old. My ears stuck out. My mom was so worried that I was going to be harassed, kidded, teased, and stuff like that. That. I'll tell you a footnote to the story later on. Okay, so they had it done. If you, you feel, feel my ear, just feel it. It's hard. It's not like yours. See, you have a soft ear. I have a hard ear. It's been built up. I don't even know how they use it. But the, it removed me from the attack machine. Right. Okay, and that's all they were doing for this little girl. And I think that's a, a totally legitimate thing to do. I yeah, I, I think that um, plastic surgery in recent days has gotten a bad rap because of the 
cosmetics done? Overuse. Yes. That's it has been done by celebrities. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes, but there I do. are some cases when uh, you know it's it's necessary. Yes. Um, and beneficial. Or some cases where that it might yeah it might help build a personality. You know sometimes there is you need sometimes women after um, I have a, a friend that. Um, she had several children uh -huh. and and then there was a problem with her chest okay. and she decided after much consideration and consultation decided that it might if she that she was going to get implants because okay. it, she went from before pregnancy with right. her first child right. she was a, a B cup or something like okay. that and then after her third child she was flat like right. there was an issue something happened okay I got you so um, She's thought, well, let's get back. To let's where I get was. back to where I was. Right. Yeah, and she did. And it's you know there are there are the risks, especially at the time that it occurred. Right. Um, but there are risks, and she, you know, as make goes but, every year, like she's supposed to, to make sure that nothing's right. punctured or leaking or That's whatever. Right. And, and, and but it changed her personality for her, the better. Of course. Yeah. It, of was, course. it was. It's a confidence builder. Yeah. Um. Sometimes, but so you see, you see cosmetology and cosmetic right. cosmetic surgery is m more with a bad rap because of right. the people that and do nip it and consistently. And TV shows like this that yeah. just turned it well, into... Well, I can't say anything about Nip and Tuck because I've never seen the show, but... No, me either, but I talk about it anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, I can name a handful of celebrities that right. have overdone it. And you sure. see, if you watch, like, those E specials right. on the E station, the E network, and right. you're just, you're like, what, why, how... It, Gross. Too much. Right. Yeah, gross. Well, so gross. Uh, anyway, I just felt I just you know it was funny because they if specifically you can't blink your eyes anymore, <laughs> you went too far. Yeah, and you know that's something else too that I can't under I I just don't. Now I believe me, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, vanity, oh, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. But you know something, we grow older. Mm -hmm. We all grow older. There's nobody except those that maybe ain't so lucky that don't grow older. Okay, and this fascination, ah, perfect segue. This fascination okay. with youth, okay, okay, and sex, oh no, I said the word. Sex? Yes, sex. And I, I got it right down here, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to try and I handle have, this. For the record, I have no idea where this is going. No, you don't. Okay. It's all but in you his will, head. It's all in, so. but the where it's going is unexpected. And let me share with you this. I'm 62. Okay. I've been married a few times. Okay. Okay, I'm happily married now, 27 years, okay? I've lived a typical show business life. Everything you've ever seen in any movie, that's all happened to me. I've experienced it all, okay? But because I've been kind of basically a gentleman mm -hmm. and I have been nice, um, uh, when, when uh, I've always been uh, very conscious of the girls I've been with, always watched out for them first, that they were happy and satisfied and all that stuff. So I'm not a prude. I'm not talking like a prude. But I gotta tell you, America, too much. There is too much sex. There is too much nonsense going on. Everything is channeled based on sex and looking at sex and innuendo and sexual innuendo. And the worst thing that I now see happening, and it's happening, I just watched it again today. We got these 14, 15, 13, these little kids and they're in romantic situations, and they're, there's they're, they're all the little sly, you know, little winky dinky, and all that stuff. And I have to tell you, that this was Hannah Montana, and it was appalling to me watching this show. We are shoving these kids into sex. We, 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 it, it's an, too much. Enough. You know, sex is great, but let me tell you something. It's only a part of life. It ain't this part of life. It's this part of life. You may miss it if you don't have it, but let me tell you something. There is so much more to life than sex, and that's the point I'm trying to make. Sex is great, it's fun, we all have fun. Great, 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 but 